Hello everyone, welcome back. Oh, I'm so happy that we're together again. Um, I know, I know we're all seeing the world changing from literally from the sky to the ground. Um, there's controversy, but I hope and pray that we all can find the strength and love and faith that God gave us as a gift to stand on and find strength in. So God bless you all and keep fighting, please. Okay, um, the dream I'm actually sharing with you today, I mean, excuse me, not a dream. The vision I'm sharing with you today is actually from a earlier video that I did from a dream and vision. Um, I think it's titled uh, Mindless Fighters, Zombies, um, Vision, Word from God. Uh, I apologize. Um, and, and it was just sort of pressed on to me today to revisit it, go back and share it again. Um, and also the Bible verses that go with it. It all is relevant to what's going on today. And I see why he wanted me to, go, to revisit it. So uh, let's get to it. Okay. Uh, all right. So the dream I was waking up from was... Um, it was startling. I remember feeling a, like I was jolted or a jump um, when I was waking up, but my body kind of jumped. And I was looking around the room, and it was dark, you know, because it was nighttime. And I didn't want to wake anyone up, you know. I, um, but it was, I see a vision of this huge head. And it's floating above the bed. I can see hair and closed eyes and nose, a mustache, mouth. I'm not sure of a beard, but I can see this image in front of me. Close to um, the one you're seeing now. But, you know, if something shows up, in your home, you make sure they are of God, right? So I instantly go into prayer, and I I actually said the Lord's prayer, and I'm I'm trying to be quiet, not to wake, you know, my husband, and I'm pointing, and I'm 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 trying to be strong and mean it, you know, uh, forceful but quiet, <laughs> and I'm going through the Lord's prayer, and I'm pointing at this image and it's huge like the eye is the size of a lemon and the head was just this so if the eyes were the size of lemons you can imagine this head was big and so I'm looking at it and I'm pointing and I'm I'm you know our father who art in heaven I'm going through the whole um, prayer and it vanished and I thought okay that was easy and I never really felt I was threatened. I never felt like I needed to fight, but it's my instant reaction if something enters my home. I have to let them know. If they're not of God, they are not allowed. Um, under our feet, right? So yeah, so not in my home. Um, but then once I stopped praying, it came back. And I was curious thought, okay, it's back. I guess, let me take a better look at this. So I, I stop, and it looks like it's etched in glass. And I have an image that's kind of an idea, but not quite right. Okay, this, uh, this is an image of uh, Jesus, our Savior, I believe. And as you can see, you can see the ripples where on the... Um, right side where his hair would be and his eyes but his eyes are open and where his beard might be you know you kind of get an image and that's what I was kind of seeing the frosted glass and I could see the carvings of his face 
and hair and and um, facial features, but it was carved into glass, this etched glass. But this image here with his eyes closed, um, this is very similar to what I saw. His head was to the side and I could see um, his features and he was sleeping and I, I, I was kind of looking and like, oh, he's, his eyes are closed, he's sleeping. And I heard in my soul, in my spirit, in my inner ear, my outer ear, I heard it. I heard a male strong voice say, um, I'm sorry, I'm checking my notes. I want to get it right. Um, praise God. He said, my eyes are closed and I am resting, but soon they will be open. Oh gosh, sorry. My eyes are closed and I am resting but they will be open soon. And the soon was kind of drug out. They will be open soon. And I thought, oh wow, okay. And then once he said soon, he vanished and he was gone. And I'm looking around, I'm wide awake. And I'm kind of getting my bearings because I woke up with a jolt from this nightmarish dream of being chased by zombies um, with guns they were armed and then now I have a uh, I had a vision of a carved and etched in glass image of Jesus sleeping so uh, I you know next morning I took notes and I found actually two Bible verses that I think are exactly right where we are today okay um, mark 4 38 through 40 and I'll leave it up so you can read the actual words um, but basically um, Jesus was um, sleeping on a boat with his disciples and the water started turning and the waves are coming over the side and they started getting nervous and they knew that Jesus was down below but he was down asleep and they were like oh you know we're we need help we might drown so so I believe one went down and woke him up said oh we need you and he went up to the top and he commanded the water. He says, quiet, be still. And everything calmed. It's beautiful. But then he turned and looked at his disciples and said, why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? And when I read that for today, that reminded me of the hurricanes with all of this waves crashing and wind blowing, what what are we to do but pray and have faith that Jesus will pull us through this? We have to have faith. We have to stand on the faith and prayer that that power we get from just that alone to know they will see us through one way or another. We are protected. He, he, by his blood, he is going to protect us and see us through these perils. But we have to have faith and we have to pray. Um, also, uh, 2 Corinthians 5, um, um, verse 7, I apologize. <laughs> so moving. Um, but he says, For we live by faith and not by sight. So just another confirmation and another um, reminder that we need to stand on the faith. We need to stand on his word and he will see us through. So all glory be to God. I just want to say we can do it. 
we have to keep fighting, but we, I know it's going to be hard, but we can do it. We need to make sure that our robes, our garments are ready for when the bridegroom comes. Our oil is filled in our lamps and we are awake and ready to go. And that any sin we've repented for and pray that we will find be found worthy. I love you all and Jesus loves you too. We're going home soon. All these are signs. The eclipse, weather, it all. Even the solar flares, CMEs, all the science. He says he's using these things for signs. That was told to us thousands of years ago. And we were blessed to be alive to see it all. Take care.